Cranberries are a group of evergreen dwarf shrubs or trailing vines. They can be found in acidic bogs throughout the cooler regions of the Northern Hemisphere. Most cranberries are produced into products such as juice, sauce, jam, and sweetened dried cranberries, with the remainder sold fresh to consumers. The name cranberry derives from the German Kranbeer, first named as cranberry in English by the missionary John Eliot in 1647. Around 1694, German and Dutch colonists in New England used the word cranberry to represent the expanding flower, stem, calyx, and petals resembling the neck, head, and bill of a crane. The traditional English name for the plant more common in Europe, fenberry, originated from plants with small red berries found growing in fen, which is another name for marsh. In North America, the Narragansett people in the regions of New England appeared to be using cranberries in food and for dye. Calling the red berries sassamanesh, the Narragansett people may have introduced the cranberries to colonists in Massachusetts. American Revolutionary War veteran Henry Hall first cultivated cranberries in the Cape Cod town of Dennis around 1816. In the 1820s, Hall was shipping cranberries to New York City and Boston, from which shipments were also sent to Europe. In 2017, the United States, Canada, and Chile accounted for 98% of the world production of cranberries. Historically, cranberry beds were constructed in wetlands. Today's cranberry beds are constructed in upland areas with a shallow water table. The topsoil is scraped off to form dikes around the bed perimeter. Clean sand is hauled in and spread to a depth of 4 to 8 inches. The surface is laser leveled flat to provide even drainage. In addition to making it possible to hold water, the dikes allow equipment to service the beds without driving on the vines. Irrigation equipment is installed in the bed for vine growth and for spring and autumn frost protection. A common misconception about cranberry production is that the beds remain flooded throughout the year. During the growing season, cranberry beds are not flooded, but are irrigated regularly to maintain soil moisture. Beds are flooded in the autumn to facilitate harvest, and again during the winter to protect against low temperatures. In cold climates, the winter flood typically freezes into ice, while in warmer climates the water remains liquid. When ice forms on the beds, trucks can be driven onto the ice to spread a thin layer of sand to control pests and rejuvenate the vines. Sanding is done every three to five years. Cranberry vines are propagated by moving vines from an established bed. The vines are spread on the surface of the sand of a new bed and pushed into the sand with a blunt disc. The vines are watered frequently during the first few weeks until roots form and new shoots grow. Beds are given frequent, light application of nitrogen fertilizer during the first year. The cost of renovating cranberry beds is estimated to be between $30,000 and $50,000 per acre. Cranberries are harvested in the fall. Berries that receive sun turn a deep red when fully ripe while those that do not fully mature are a pale pink or white colour. Though they're not fully ripened yet, the white or pale pink cranberries can still be harvested to make white cranberry juice. To harvest cranberries, the beds are flooded with 6 to 8 inches of water above the vines. A harvester is then driven through the beds to remove the fruit. Harvested cranberries float in the water and can be corralled into a corner of the bed onto a conveyor or into a pump. From the farm, cranberries are taken to receiving stations where they are cleaned, sorted and stored prior to packaging or processing. Although most cranberries use this wet picking method, around 5 to 10% of US crops are still dry picked. This entails higher labor costs and a lower yield, but dry picked berries are less bruised and can be sold as fresh fruit instead of having to be immediately frozen or processed. Originally performed with a two-handed comb scoop, dry picking today is accomplished by motorized walk-behind harvesters, which must be small enough to traverse beds without damaging the vines. 
It is unclear whether or not eating cranberries can treat or prevent urinary tract infections. Though some small clinical studies have shown a small reduction of risk of UTIs, larger reviews of these studies conclude that a cause and effect relationship has not been established between cranberry consumption and reduced risk of UTIs.